everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're on the way to Ibiza and we're flying EasyJet and I've only just managed to get around to vlogging. I was going to film earlier in the flight but Thumbs has taken ages to settle and the reason you can only see me from this way up is because yes I am breastfeeding because otherwise his ears pop you see because we're coming into land. So he's falling asleep when we're about to land. Typical. 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 This flight has been an interesting one and I'll tell you why. Holly's found three seats at the back. So me and Tim are here with Bumps. There's a load of rowdy teenagers, a few rows in front of us and they've had their vape sticks out. They've had them confiscated from them on a couple of occasions. Top tip, if you're flying to Ibiza, don't go at 8 o'clock in the evening or any sort of late evening flight because you will get some very intoxicated teenagers on the flight causing havoc. Although the entertainment's been rather interesting, I will give it that. So yeah, we're coming into land, it's a bit windy, probably going to be a bit rocky, rocky and slipping and we're going to be all over the place so I'm bracing myself for that but I'm really looking forward to it. I beat there is somewhere where I used to work many moons ago actually before Holly was born and I really liked it and then when me and Tim got together I did say to Tim come on let's go and have a holiday and I beat there so we've been back to I beat for probably about what seven times maybe would you say yeah we've had about four holidays ourselves we have been seven times now Four, I've had four and I've lived here, that'd be five, this is six. You said we. And then you. Okay, six. And you don't yeah, like going back to the same six. place. Well I know, but to be fair, um I'd be for a little bit of an exception. It's really windy. Pleasure looking after you today, and we look forward to welcoming you back on board be again. Feeling a little bit. Somebody cool, should bumpies. be in bed, but they're not. They're sailing. <laughs> Mediterranean Sea. Do you want to 
the boat. Yeah. You got a boat. Say onwards, Mr. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Captain, onwards. We want a boat, Bumpies. We want a boat, Bumpies. We got it. So our hotel is over here, which is Playa Bella. So we're staying over here, and we are heading over because obviously at the moment we're in San Antonio Bay and we're heading over to San Antonio town on this sea taxi. You can see Cafe Mambo just there in the distance in the purple. Cafe Del Mar is next door. You can't see that as clearly actually. Um, and over here you can see like a fairground ride. I think it's like a, is that like a bungee Holly? Is that a bungee? Slingshot that's it. Costs about four euros to go over on this each. Uh, you can do a return. I think the last boat is about 11 o'clock at night, so it looks like we might be getting a taxi back because by the time we finish eating, it might be a little bit late. But this is really nice, and we've been over on it before. Best time to come on one of these is sunset. Oh, amazing! It was a little bit windy yesterday as we come into land. Obviously, this is our first night, but the wind's died down a little bit now, so. Last night in Ibiza, well actually last night kind of was a night but we arrived so late we didn't have a night so this is our first night and we really fancied an Indian, there's a specific Indian restaurant that we absolutely adore in Ibiza and we go there every time we're here, sometimes even twice and we go there, we get the bow, we go, what happens Tim? Glossed. Closed. Yes, closed. It's gutted. It was closed. By the way, I hate that side profile. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't just closed. It was closed. finished, gone. Probably never to open again. But we keep our fingers crossed it might do because obviously we're going to come back to Ibiza. We do come back quite frequently. So we were like, we're in the mood for an Indian. Where is there another Indian restaurant? And there were a couple on the circuit. So we've ended up coming to this one, which is quite nice because. We're sat outside, we've got a sea view. You can actually see our hotel right across the bay. You probably can't on camera though, because it's a bit hard to pinpoint really. But I've got my red wine, <laughs> which is really got, nice Fumpies because- Fumpies got Alpro. Yeah, we've got Fumpies some Alpro. <laughs> so we've ordered the food. I'm not gonna get Tim in that clip there because of his side profile. Yeah, no, it's only because I didn't put any color in my hair tonight and the grays mm -hmm. are really bad. It's okay, you don't need to justify it. We all understand, we all have our situations, don't we? So it's absolutely fine. You don't have any green. You're lucky. Not yet. Don't want to speak too soon, but I'm all right at the moment. But yeah, it's quite nice. We're going to see what the food's like. Will it be up to scratch? Let's put it to the test. The scenery's nice. And to be fair, although That's in the other restaurant, although- The view of the apartments above us. It's towering. Yeah, that is that's the only thing. If you turn around, turn them around, you can see everybody's living situation or holiday situation above us. Thumbs is ready for bed, but we're gonna feed him a yogurt first and then we're gonna go to bed. But we'll re we'll report back and we'll let you what know. Time we go to bed last night? If this is as good as what time we go to bed last night. Nearly like two in the morning, wasn't no, it? No, three. So here's the thing. The Indian was naff. Um, but you live and you learn, don't you? And that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Sometimes you go to restaurants and they're good. Well, that woman's pretty vile. We decided that we was gonna have some churros. I said that it tastes like burnt toast. Right, I was just about to get oh, to that bit, actually. Toast. So obviously you can have churros with milk or without milk. So I had them without. I've had half a churro so far. Tim and Holly have just been getting all of them. But they wanted chocolate on the top. And I said, no, no, we can't have chocolate for obvious reasons. Not gonna keep going on about it, but we can't have chocolate. So we can just have a fuga, the Spanish say. 
but the English say sugar, so it's afuga. Anyway, it tastes like burnt toast. Holly's right. They, they don't taste great without no. chocolate. I feel very disappointed. Considering that we don't have like any toppings on it, they could have been a bit more generous with the sugar just to give it a bit of sweetness. Right, yeah. yeah. Although, considering it tastes like burnt toast, you're not doing a too bad of a job of devouring, are you? No. Well. So we're just walking past Ocean Beach. And this is what it's like. Doesn't look like anything special. That's because the entertainment's not on. Uh, I'll watch Casper then. Would you be like, hell yeah, get me in there? I think I'm a bit too old for that now. I do feel like I would go there and feel completely out of place. Why? Is it to do with not being able to drink? No, no, it's to do with how I look. Like, it's not really my scene anymore. There's only one thing that I want to do, and that's snuggle up to this man here. What? I was saying, I don't really want to... Snuggle? Who snuggles when they've got temperatures of 28 degrees and this is warm? In the UK, of course, not here. My favourite clubbing day was when the Atlantis in Great Yarmouth was Tiffany's and I just went when I was underage and lived it up. It was the best feeling in the world what and it was, was a really What's big Atlantis? place to go and the disco, the music, you really, really felt it. It was such a good feeling. That's the best time I ever went clubbing. What's that totally. Atlantis? What is Atlantis now, Tim? What do they call it? You know where the Marina Centre is in Great yeah. Yarmouth? It's opposite there. We were going to get a cab Funny, back new. and we said we'll just walk and see how far we feel like we want to go and then when our legs start aching we'll get a cab and we're pretty much there. We're not. But, but we're we not. Are, but we are not. We're not but we've basically walked. So we started off where do we start off? Like, I'm just pointing with my finger here. Right, so the end of the harbour. So we ran about um, past the West End. So started up there somewhere. Then we walked down, walked down. My finger's probably not accurate because I'm actually looking at my finger without looking through the camera. So I do apologize. Walked around, past the slingshot, which wasn't operating at the time, past I beat the rocks all the way around and past Ocean Beach and up here. So yeah, we've done really, really well. And our hotel is over there. So I think if we've done that much, we can do this. Or is our hotel over there? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. So this isn't a bad place to come for a cup of coffee, is it? This is one of the nicest views of San Antonio. I love this bay. Can be a little bit of a struggle to walk around, I'm not gonna lie. Last night was hell walking all the way around. So I do recommend cabs or that ferry that goes from just over there. That's where we got the ferry from. Yeah, gracias. <laughs> I like the fact that they've actually gave us a bit of water with the coffee. Do you know that that is the correct way to serve a coffee with yeah. a bit of water? You should always chase a coffee with water, but people never do. But you, you'll see the Spanish and you'll see Italians do it with espressos. Do you ever notice that? Um, so that is the correct way to actually have a coffee. Cute. We're going to come here again tomorrow. We've left Holly, she's sunbathing. Oh, by the way, I have just completed the coffee morning. This is the lunchtime after the coffee morning. 
that was quite interesting because we tried to find a really nice spot so we found an old rest well we found a restaurant that was closed but the chairs were outside it and we were like they're going to open any minute and we're here we're stealing their chairs and saying to do this coffee morning but we just managed it to scrape through before they opened so happy days and then after this we're gonna have a bit of pool fun aren't we yeah i think i don't know we're gonna go with the flow in the coffee morning that I would show you a little bit of the hotel in the vlog so I'm gonna go back to the room now so I thought I'd give you a little bit of insight as to what it's like I'm gonna show you the room up there and then show you over the balcony so you can have a little look at our view so this is how we get in obviously you sit in the pool I really don't like it. I much prefer these apartments where you're on the ground floor and stuff, especially with the baby. This is a nightmare. I can't even open this. Oh, fabulous. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was good because I'm no good with this key. So we can take the stairs or we can take the very dated lift. Now, I've took the stairs about three times today already, so I've done my exercise. I'm going to take the lift. You'll see how slow this lift is. No word of a lie, I could read a whole Enid Blyton book in the whole time it takes me to get upstairs. That's why I've been walking it. But I'm absolutely beat. You can see, you can tell, I look sweaty, shattered. The only reason I'm getting upstairs now is to get my bikini on because we need some pool time. You'll see how dated it. It only holds four people, but when Casper's fish chair is in here, it barely holds one. See what I'm saying? But on the plus side, we're on the top floor. Typical. It does have a mirror. Two Gabby's. You know what that means? Two big Italian noses. So I'm told. And we're there. Okay. So this is our floor. So basically, this is the view we probably should have had. But we got here late at night. We did request a sea view. Didn't get the sea view we, we requested. And we weren't gonna grumble because we'd unpacked some stuff. So we thought, you know, just, just go with it. I mean, to be fair, we don't really spend much time in the balcony anyway, not with Casper. I dropped the keys. Sounds like Santa's sleigh, doesn't it? There we go. And this is the view we've got. Literally, the strip. Luckily, it's not the West End strip. Some people might like this view because you can see like a lot of life. I mean, I prefer the pool and the sea view, personally. You can, you can see the sea, just over the rooftops there. But this is more people going out and stuff like that. There's a nice pool over there. I think they're all inclusive in that one. But yeah, this is it. The view is the supermarket, rooftops, a little bit of the sea and the strip. But I do like this kind of balcony, this solid brick type. We don't really like the flimsy 
type balconies. You see like in this hotel over here, they've got like glass balcony fronts, which is great if you're, it's good if you don't have kids. But when you've got kids, I much prefer a balcony like this because I feel so much, it feels more secure, you know? But however, we don't let Casper out here anyway. Um, I have been to Grand Canary, the video is on the channel. Just very quickly, why don't I just stop in this uh, Prosecco? This time next week, um, hopefully I will be in um, America. Look, they're peeking over the top. Probably wants to go peek over the top. It's quite funny how many people are actually no, peeking over it. the top. Will I get told off if I peek? No, no I just did it. Yeah. It's not really a club, but I really want to go to Fishwire. That That's fun. just a cool yeah, place to go to. To be to. fair, I want to go there. When we'll Calvin Harris, I mean, I and have a prosecco. I'm... We've just completed a live on Sims channel. That was one heck of a walk, but it was really, really good. We really, really liked it, and we just ended it outside Cafe Mambo. So we've actually walked a little bit further along now. This is the view. Have a little look. It's really amazing. We didn't get much of a sunset this evening, but it's all right because it has been a nice and warm, busy, good atmosphere. Really, really nice. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go for food, Holly? What kind of food we up for? I don't know. Just anywhere we'll do. This time of night, we'll be lucky to even get a takeaway. So <laughs> let's just go get some food, shall we? So good morning. It's actually Thursday morning, to be precise. I have skipped a couple of days. I'm really, really sorry. We've obviously been getting ourselves sorted and doing other stuff. But it's a bright, beautiful blue sky today. Some clouds, but not so many clouds that it's bothering. The pool is busy. I'm just heading up the stairs because this is where we're going to have breakfast today. Or aiming to have breakfast, should I say. Tim and Holly are already there. And the plan is that we're going to go out in the car today. This is the first time we've been out the whole time. We've had this car the whole time and we've not been out at all. So the plan is to go out, have a little nosy around the island. Like I've done it before and it's been amazing. So I know what to expect. Although this car is a little bit crammed with the four of us. I'm not going to lie. You can never get in this gate. Someone's got their book. We've got a nice view. How can anyone not like Ibiza? So lush, isn't it? As I said before, the plan today is we get in our little brum brum car. And I say brum brum car because when you see how tiny it is, you'll realise why I'm saying it like that. And we're going to go and explore a bit more of the island now. We've been to lots of places on the island before, haven't we? We yeah. know the island very, very well. Uh, um, we wanted to go to Formentera. We ain't going to get a chance to go. It's quite there. handy, actually, that these place maps are maps. Yeah. So You can plan out your day where you eat breakfast. Oh, we should go to Portanax because um, we, we go like there quite a lot. It's a lovely, lovely little seaside fishing village. It's lovely. And um, many occasions we've said we should stay in Portanax, but we never do do it, do we? We always no. come back to San Antonio. I don't know why. I don't know why we don't take the plunge and go. I think it's because, because we know. Because there's not much going on. Yeah, it's a lovely place to go, but it is quite a chilled holiday there in Portanax. So I think that we should go there. So that's um, where we are at the minute. And we'll go over there. And do you want to go to, well, there's some really beautiful beaches, but the thing is they're not accessible with a pram. This is what I was going to say. Um, so, you know, the hippie beach that we go to quite a lot, that might be a bit of a nightmare with fun, yeah, won't it? So that can't happen today. Um, and it's not like- How our... do you look so good in the morning? Well, you know, I think it's just good jeans. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, I don't look that good. If I took my sunglasses off right now, I wouldn't look good. Um, and you've got no makeup on? I do have a bit of lippy on. You and I do. I have a bit of waterproof mascara. Oh, the, yeah. I only have two bits of makeup on today. I have some waterproof mascara because of the like 
sweating or jumping in and out of the pool and have a little bit of lipstick, that's it. I don't really bother with anything else during the day. I, to be fair, I don't always do this, but I knew I was vlogging today, so I thought, you know, better put a bit of lippy on, a bit of mascara so I look my best, you know? So let's just see where the wind takes us. But do you know what I think we should do? And I don't know if you're up for it or not, but after we've had breakfast, I know we're having coffee here, but why don't we go via the Panderia and get a takeaway coffee to have in the car? But, um, yeah, what have you to eat breakfast? Lovely. Stunning. <laughs> look at them, just look at them right there. We're driving on this. Everyone else is. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll just leave it here for now. Yeah, let's leave oh, the car here that. before we do some serious damage. Bumpies? I'm going to have to put some sun cream on him. Well, we won't be here long. We should have just stayed where we were because now we've just travelled into the car. Ground. Just so you can see how uneven the road is. Oh, this doesn't actually do any justice. Like we're driving on this. Look at that, great big hole in the road. My God. Anyway, look at that for review. And we're here to see this little mountain thing sticking out the trees. Don't really know the history behind it. Most normal people that walk down here have walking boots or trainers, but not us. Yeah, we rough it. No, no, no. We have our next flip-flops. They're called train flops. It's a mix between a trainer and a flip-flop. I call them train flops. Is that what yours are? No. <laughs> Gullible person, you. But look at this. I always end up getting in these situations where I've not got the appropriate attire. Do you remember when we went up Mount TD and I was wearing heels? Hey, I went up Mount TD and just cardigan and there was ice everywhere there's two people in front of us that got flip flops i was wearing a cardigan too there there's everybody two else people, got snow there's two suits people on. in front of us that have got flip flops oh okay we're not the only idiots then <laughs> it smells lovely though doesn't it it does smell nice and it's not too hot either which is quite nice you know, it's cooler today it's been really warm for the last couple of days like very 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 muggy and very warm but it's um it's really cooled down yeah but i love walking through the pine trees that smell is amazing yeah. I'm not being funny or anything, but how long is this walk, man? This is just up here. You can see, look, there used to be a fence here. So to stop people going in? For what purpose? I don't know, once upon a time ago, it was obviously... Um, it's obviously a little bit dodged then, isn't it? Well, because you can get very close to the edge, which we'll see in a minute. There is probably a good reason why, um, once upon a time, this was closed to the public, and you'll see why. Yeah, because the walking environment is not overly great. It's just over this hill, baby. Yeah, I don't think we would have coped with the push chair, you know. Yeah, you are absolutely right. You I'm done. always right. He doesn't like to admit it, but I am always right. You're not always right. I'm mostly always right. I'm always right. Oh, the river bed. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, I could have imagined our silver cross buggy going over all this. I don't remember this, to be honest. I didn't think this was here. There's tree roots and everything. Minute. Where does he take me? He takes me on some adventures, don't he? No, maybe hiking's worth it. Wow, it's a nice clear day for it. 
It's supposed to be a magical island. It's supposed to be a magical island. Well, that looks nice down there. Beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah, it is beautiful. In fact, if we come around this side. Med is so still today. wondering why one minute we were having an adventure and then it went from that straight to night time right and yes the sun has just gone down well the reason being is because once we got back to the car after looking at that lovely rock we discovered Tim's phone had been stolen from the car so Tim thought he'd locked the car he hadn't someone obviously tried the car and took Tim's phone and we haven't misplaced it because it was actually taken out of the phone case so they left the phone case with the bank cards in and everything. And most of you are probably thinking, well, this was coming, this was on the cards, literally, because when I did the Legoland vlog, if you watched it, you'd realize that we nearly lost his phone then. So this is for real this time. It's gone, it's been pinched, stolen, gone. So our day out was cut very short. And um, the reason I couldn't vlog is because Tim had needed my phone to ring up banks and stuff like that to get his cards canceled and stuff and just get on the phone to EE. So basically, that's why there's such a massive gap in my day. Who comes to a Chinese restaurant wearing a Hollister t-shirt? Yeah, tell us about the night. Do we know where to begin? Um, it's been one hell of a day, actually. Casper was playing with my makeup as I was getting ready to go out and he chucked my powder blusher on the floor and all the powder came out of it and went all over the floor. So that was funny. That's he also my blusher. Picked, he also picked it up for you. He did, once it bed. was empty. And he did the same also with my favourite eyeshadow. So that was quite disappointing actually, because they weren't really overly oh, used. So I've now got to go out and buy some more makeup. Guys, that's kids for you. So today is another day. We're going to Bambaku. And if you don't know what Bambaku is, it's actually a club that you can go to for families or with families. So it's really baby friendly. So they've got lots of activity going on. They've got like, so I hear circus acts, characters, stuff like that. It's meant to be really, really good. So we're gonna do that. We've got tickets for it. Tim went and got them actually this morning. Um, we've just eaten, so that's great. We're now getting the boat to go from San Antonio Bay over to San Antonio. Um, when we dock, we're gonna we're just gonna walk round to Bambaku and see what it's all about, really. Beautiful weather for it. Bacon again. When the clouds come, it's a relief. Have we got coin? Because we know the boat takes cash only. Luckily, I've got some. We've got coin, wonderful. How beautiful is the sea today? So we're heading over in that direction. Okay. That direction. Are you excited, Bubbubs? <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is the boat that takes you over. Right, let's um put this in the bag. Oh, there they are. There's the tickets. Are you ready, Bubbubs? So we're on the boat, we're going over. It's really nice because you can really feel this lovely breeze, so it's really cooling us down, which is lovely. Bubbs has been a nightmare to keep still, but I've managed to get his little book from the works, which has come in so handy on this holiday. And it's occupied it now, so he's nice and still. It's a nice day for a boat ride, I think. What San Antonio Bay is actually missing is a really nice long promenade walk because if you go through you the have town. One one. Yeah, if you go through the town and then it stops just after Ocean Beach, which is actually parallel to around about here, isn't it now? 
and then that's it then you have to walk on the back streets to go all the way around to the rest of the bay and I think that's a shame that it doesn't go all the way around along the promenade but you can't have it all can you? You can't have your cake and eat it. The only annoying thing is though we have to walk quite a way down San Antonio Bay. Well I don't know it's quite a nice <laughs> promenade walk. There isn't much of a promenade in San Antonio um, because it stops so far but if you're gonna do a promenade walk this will be the walk to do I think but we've even got a fair look I'm not a massive fan of this particular beach though in San Antonio no it's like, not the best well, where shallow I don't know it just I don't know it just it just feels very because of the grass going into the sand it feels quite industrial do you know what I mean like well, if you look at the sand, it's very rock hard, isn't it? Almost a bit muddy. Yeah, I don't like it. But mind you, it, it's just very close to the harbour, isn't it? Might be why. But if you go further around the bay, obviously from here, our hotel is just there. So we've come across, and obviously this is the bay. But if you go further around, there's some beautiful beaches situated around about there and there get a lot of uh, of people with some severe hangovers how do you know that <laughs> they might not the beach is right next to the west end so it's a good chance in fact there's probably people still sleeping on this beach from last night this is a nice bit of the beach don't like it. I don't like round there, you know where the fairground bit is, but I do like this bit. This bit's nice. Maybe it's the trees. Look, there's Alice from Alice Wonderland. I reckon they're part of the Babaku. <laughs> just sitting. They're that having, is because having their lunch. I, yeah, I saw the whole Alice Wonderland thing advertised, so I bet it is. Look. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Exciting. I'm really excited. First baby beach club, baby! It's not a beach club like you know. Are you excited, Holly? Oh, fancy. Right, here we go, Bumpies. Can we just go see us? Just to forget that I'm here and I can speak Spanish. I like it. Baby club. The baby club, yeah. Okay, so I had enough of bamboo, to be honest with you. It would have been alright, like I said, if we'd have had a sunbed, but because we couldn't get a sunbed, it's not the sort of place you wanted to stick around. But as we were leaving, we were told we could have a sunbed, but by that point it was too late. Not. The offer from us was glossed. So we just come here. Um, one of the nice things about coming here is Capital are in Cafe Mambo at the moment and they're live. And they've got DJs, it's packed. Obviously they're going to be playing until this evening. But this is nice, we're at space, it's chilled, it's calm, it's not too many people but we can see what's going on down there, probably a little bit cheaper as well. What is it? Minimum spend if you have a table in Cafe Mambo? 80 euro minimum spend per isn't person. it? Which to be honest with you, after a few cocktails, I don't think it would be hard to spend it in there. But we're, we're only coming for a coffee but we're popping back later for sunset. But we're a long way off sunset, so we're just taking in the views. Sam, what's your thoughts on Babaku? Um, it's okay. Would have been better with the sunbed though, right? Well, of course, yeah. Polly, what was your thoughts on Babaku? Yeah.
Our family tradition is to always be late for absolutely everything. So obviously we were here earlier when Capital were on and we were like, let's go home, let's get changed, let's come out and catch Capital. And what do you know, we missed the sunset and we're late again. So I'm really sorry that in this vlog I've not managed to capture the sunset. Maybe a little bit on the boat I've probably captured, but not the actual physical sunset. So you did, because I captured it for you on the boat. That's what I just said, I caught a little bit of it on the boat. So Yeah, so unfortunately I've not managed to get it here. But here's something that I do want to add, right? So you've got three bars, haven't you? You've got Mambo, you've got Cabo Del Mar, you've got Savannas. And then you've got Space on the other side of Savannas. So they sort of go in order a little bit. And then you've got this bar. A little bit cheaper, a little bit more low key. And we were actually contemplating that if Capital was still playing, we were gonna go and actually have a drink in there. However, we got there, we missed it. And it was roundy as hell anyway. Casper was asleep. We were like, why should we pay over the odds if Capital aren't playing? Let's just go to the bar that we know, pay a little bit less, and soak up the same atmosphere. You can hear the music, you can watch people passing by, the view is magnificent. So I'm more than happy here. Out of the way of all the hustle and bustle, I'd like to call it. What's your thoughts, darling? Exactly what you said. <laughs> Did I sum it up well? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this bar but is called. I, I, I actually prefer this bar because this is money. Yeah. It's not very big. We've been here it's a few very times. Small. A lot of people walk past it, don't notice it. Yeah. The views are still amazing. Yeah. And there's always somewhere to sit. I mean, we had a coffee in space earlier. Okay, yeah, so the seating is a little bit more comfortable, but to be fair, for the amount of time you're here, you're not pitched here for the night. Yeah, this is being q furniture. Fun. That's more luxury. I like being cute furniture, you can't beat it. But we used to use this bar when we first started coming to Ibiza, when we were on a serious budget. Serious budget. Mind you, we're still on a serious budget, but I mean real, real yeah, but things economical have budget. Things have gone up, this is still 11 euros for two drinks. No, five. No, it was 11. Oh yeah, 5.50. Come on, no, 5.50 for a bottle. So, and usually we can actually get two glasses out of a mini bottle, really. Okay, they're not completely full, but they're three more or less, you know. So, when you think about it, 11 euros, we've managed to get ourselves four drinks for 11 euros. It's not bad at all, really. Why change the habit of a lifetime? If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> So we're leaving today. We're just having a bit of breakfast before we go. And it's a bit of an odd one really because we're going on the transfer bus, but Tim's taking the hire car back. And the reason being for that is because the baby car seat that we got was from a completely different hire company. A bit confusing. We didn't spend any time in the car whatsoever. Complete waste of time getting it this time. Got to leave all this behind, which I'm devastated about. So this is literally the view that we've got from the hotel, which is pretty amazing. My opinion on this hotel though, when you go to book it, it's got great reviews and I can see why it's got great reviews, but it's a little bit um, messy around the outside, if that makes sense. Our room was around the back. We had a back street view, which is a shame because most of them are actually facing the sea. Maybe if we were facing the sea, I'd feel a little bit better. So it's got two restaurants, one here, one down here, which is where they have the nighttime entertainment. Obviously, we've been sunbathing around about this area and we've been doing that most days. Um, it's been nice and close to the baby splash pool. Bumps has had a nice time in that. Probably hasn't been in there as much as I'd have liked. And then obviously it's got a main pool around the back, which you saw from my live, so you can see that. But it has got a little bit of a promenade. I love a promenade walk, but this promenade is not a massive stretch, which is a shame. So it's literally only enough to show you the length of the hotel and then it stops so it's not much of a walk but it is good that you can just come out of your hotel on the beach so you do have the best of both worlds which is great and this is where they do the evening entertainment and they do do quite a bit of stuff for kids they do have like a mini club they have like a mini disco and things like that so that is the outdoor stage which is my size and they do put a bit of cabaret on which we did see a small snippet of one night but again we wasn't really here long enough to embrace the full package um but yeah this is it if you are on maybe a little bit of a budget it's not too bad you know 
the view I can't fault. So if you're gonna stay at this hotel, you're literally staying here for the view. The rooms are quite nice, I suppose, but they're not amazing. Like you don't get like, I know this is a little bit petty, but you don't even get like soap or anything like that with the sinks. But I'm glad I tried it. It was all right for what it was. For a cheapie, it's all right. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have enjoyed this vlog, then please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you soon. Bumpies is chilled.